compressors and compression. Now, a lot of new people might get confused as to what a compressor is and what it does. I remember when I first started, even though I had read what a compressor did, I still didn't really understand what exactly what was happening for a while. So I'm here to tell you. All right, so what is a compressor? Basically, a compressor is a volume control that automatically brings down the level of a sound once it reaches a certain loudness. Now, this is a good thing because some sounds you're going to want to reduce the dynamic range, that is, reduce the difference between the highest volume and lowest volume to keep it a more consistent level. This means you can bring it up in volume without the track clipping, which is a good thing because if your track is clipping and you're going into the red, your sound is going to sound very muddy and distorted because whenever sound goes over zero dB when you're working with audio, you're going to get that distortion and that's bad. So some reasons you might want to compress is if you have sounds with really high resonance that are kind of giving you an unwanted noise at certain positions on the filter. So I have exactly that set up right here as you can see and let's just take a look and you're gonna see in the meter here that it's gonna be clipping. So you can see right there towards the end, it's going into the red. Uh, so we don't want that, but uh, before we turn on the compressor uh, to fix that, let's just take a look at the waveform. So we're gonna bounce here, and we can see that the volume is pretty consistent except for these peaks, which just kinda jut out. So when I turn on the compressor, what it's going to do, it's going to bring down the volume of these peaks when the volume gets too loud, and we'll see that. So this is just, default settings. Uh, let's have a listen at what that sounds like now. So we can hear that the sound is a lot more consistent in volume. We also see that it isn't clipping anymore. Let's take a look at the waveform. So as you can see by the waveform here, uh, did exactly what I said. It clip down on these peaks. So what exactly was happening? Well, if we open this up here, what was happening is the compressor wasn't acting in this area. Once it started to peak, it exceeded the threshold on the compressor and turned it on, which brought down the volume. So let's just talk about these controls just a little. The main things you're going to want to worry about are threshold and ratio. A ratio is the amount that the volume goes down proportionate to the amount of volume that exceeds the threshold. Now that sounds a little bit confusing but basically what it means is this. If you have the ratio set to 1 2 which is the default it's going to be basically reducing the volume by half. So the higher you have your ratio set the more it's going to clamp down on the sound. Now as for threshold, the lower you have the threshold set means the sooner and lower in volume that the compressor is going to clamp down. So that means if you have the volume all the way left, it's pretty much going to always be on. And if you have it all the way right, it's really not going to do anything unless it goes above 0 dB. So anyways, that's just the very basic idea behind a compressor and what it does. I'm not going to go too much into specific settings and things to use. I just wanted to give you an idea of what a compressor was doing and show you a few examples with the waveforms. Anyways, I hope this tutorial has been helpful. This is Electro signing out.